Hello everyone, welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. Today I'm taking a first look at MEM, which is a new note-taking application that is shaking up the note-taking space. It's a way to connect your notes up using bi-directional links. However, there's some really interesting flows, templates and abilities in here that really make it quite interesting. Today's video, I'm gonna explore MEM. First, let's dive into a little bit about our conversation. We had a, we're able to have a chat with the founding team, um, just a little bit about their vision, then we'll jump into the actual experience and features. You can skip ahead if you want to, um, if you wanna just skip past all this. So I was able to sit down with Kevin and Dennis, who are the founders uh, of MEM. They recently secured a funding round from A16Z uh, of $5.6 million, which is pretty good. Um, and they were really interested uh, in chatting uh, and I appreciate them taking the time out. What was really interesting is their vision. They really want to try and make this application like Jarvis from Iron Man in helping it become sort of an OS more than it is a productivity application. They were talking quite uh, a lot about this concept of first and third party applications, but also had a real focus on privacy in this application about how it really plays a part in your life and having that control of data. So be sure to actually chat and with the founders so you can hear it from their own voices. Uh, but it's a free application at the moment available on Mac and web. It's in beta, so it might be a little bit rough around the edges, um, but at the same time, um, it is got a wait list um, and um, they're, they're putting a lot of time and attention into it. So let's dive into the application MEM. So here we are, this is MEM for Mac, so the web version looks pretty similar. And you can see here that I've got sort of five key areas, timeline, inbox, tasks, groups, and flows. So as you can see here, this is the, the main sort of area you'll be accessing timeline. Now they do have search, so you can bypass this if you want to. Um, however, this is sort of like your homepage as you land on it. It's got the date and you can start typing away a note if you want to. Now, any note that is created, uh, you can see here that I created one at 3 p.m. If I click into it, it comes as a very simple sort of web page. Looks very much like you're inside of Google Doc um, and you can start typing away here. One of the things I love in the editor is it automatically melts away. And you can see here that it is really easy to start typing away, adding in what you need to. Users Markdown um, has all the sort of text formatting you'd expect inside of a text editor-like application. Um, and you can use slash command to enter dates, or you can add images here. I'm not sure yet you're able to add files. However, I'm sure that's coming at a later date. So the real cool thing is you can connect it to the likes of other uh, links you've created. So for example, if I weirdly wanted to connect this one to something I've created, uh, like Otto's vaccines, then uh, you can see that that it, link is created and I can enter it. And what's nice is you can have it uh, up on the, the right sidebar here. I can expand that. And as you can see here, I can see related MEMS. So that's what they're called, not notes, they're called MEMS, um, and you can connect up MEMS. And any related MEM will come over that side. So if I go back and I go back to Bento, you can see here that a relationship has been created. It won't obviously appear inside of this related ones because obviously um, there hasn't been a connection between them. Now up here, you can create a template from the mem, which I'll dive into, uh, and I'll copy, you can copy the mem link or mark as unread. You can even add it to an inbox or snooze it. I'll come to that in a moment. I really like this concept and this feature. Now, as you can see, this is automatically private. However, they do actually have some abilities for sharing between team members, uh, which uh, I guess is um, really cool because you're able to collaborate and you can access groups from here and invite people up in the top right hand corner. So, um, in terms of the experience, it's only available through web and, mo uh, web and Mac, but they are planning to add a mobile version in summer. Uh, I was actually impressed at the speed of this application using it on Mac. You also get something called Spotlight, which I'll come to in a bit, which I think is a nice additional feature in this application. So they sort of bypass the concept of folders to some extent here. Um, so for example, let's say um, I had a note here um, that was about, uh, I don't know, let's uh, say I'm, I'm planning a picnic for the family. Um, I can make this one uh, larger. So um, what it can do here, because it uses markdown, I can add the little brackets there to create a task and naturally add some more below. 
So as you can see here, the notes have been created at that specific time slot. Um, and what's really nice is um, what I could do with this is actually pick out the tasks from it. So if I actually go over to tasks, you can see here now that the picnics has actually been created. So if I press enter, I can actually enter that um, and I could start um, seeing the open tasks that needed to be done. Now I can take them off from here if I did want to. So let's say I've already planned a location. I can also send them to uh, a certain time. So for example, in this case, I might say, actually it's tomorrow. Um, and I could say tomorrow at 3 p.m. And it will actually um, send it to that date um, and that will appear in my timeline. So if I can do the same, I can also hide something by pressing the right bar and you can navigate any of your tasks that are here. And you can see any of the ones that are upcoming. So for example, in this case, it's actually scheduled for a specific time. So it's got some quite nice sort of task management thrown in there that are connected to your notes. So if you come out of a meeting or agenda uh, and you've, uh, you know, typed up a nice agenda and then you've got your actions below, you can either send them to other people um, or you can send them uh, to, uh, you know, for example, um, this weekend and, and any of the sort of stuff there. So task management is quite a subtle experience in the application. It's more like note tasks, which are pretty cool. Um, but the thing that I really like is Inbox. Now, Inbox has two layers to it. So for example, um, you can uh, go to timeline and if there's something important, like I know this is quite important, so I'm like, oh, I need to make sure it's in the inbox. So you can either remove it from the inbox there, but let's say it's in that inbox. What I can do here, is I can remove it from the inbox, I can snooze it for later, or I can mute it, and I can even add tags, uh, a copy the, the link to the memo, or share it. But what's cool is it's in that inbox, it's for me to do, for me to organize for later. I can also snooze it for this weekend if I wanted to, and as you can see, I hit inbox zero in here. I quite like having a fixed inbox in MEM um, because as you can see here, you could be able to correlate this as something that needs to be doing or you can schedule it for later, which means that it sort of disappears a little bit like how you snooze emails. Let's say I'm inside of a note and I want to mention somebody. Um, I can actually turn this into a shared note by, for example, saying uh, chat with and then at mentioning, say, Dennis, who is one of the founders. You can see up here that it's a shared note and you can see that I'm viewing it and if Dennis came in, you can see that he would be viewing it. So inside of the actual, um, so inside of the Getting Started video, they actually explained that you can actually make connections to, for example, companies. So in this case, I might say, okay, um, let's connect this to, uh, let's connect this to the Acme Company Inc. And you and as you can see here, this Acme company has been created and you can see that it's part of this meeting agenda here. So you can start to build relationships between people and pages, which is very helpful. So you can also create groups based on, for example, people that you want to invite on a routine basis, which means sharing becomes a lot easier. And you can also create something called flows, which is, I guess, a supercharged feature, sort of a pro feature. So you can start off having a daily mem. So for example, if you wanted to have uh, things that, for example, pick which days you want to generate a daily mem uh, and what time it appears. So you can actually have like a daily journal uh, and you can also change all of the placeholders um, and also set up how you want it, which is pretty cool. So basically the daily mem can be set up essentially every single day and it will automatically generate that um, and I can save it down here. So it's pretty handy for if I want to go tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. to start a daily mem. I can also create mems on the go using text and that actually links to uh, the likes of WhatsApp and also SMS. So if you're using uh, SMS, Telegram or WhatsApp, you can send stuff into your mem for a specific time. That could be images, that could be images or even just short notes to yourself. You can set up calendars in mem, which is a fairly new feature. So you can connect to the likes of Google Calendar if you wanted to which means that you can see upcoming events and create mems faster through the timeline view, which is pretty cool. And you can even export your data at any time, including all of your mems into a JSON file or Markdown, and you can request a custom flow there. The really cool thing is the template side of stuff. There's a little bit of a guide on how to do it, but for example, if I wanted to, I could say, uh, you know, new email template, and I could say, uh, hi, 
and user templates. Uh, let's say, and you're probably wondering like, why are you creating a template for email? It doesn't connect with email. So if I, um, if I press uh, keep, so basically what happens when I press shift command uh, space, I can basically go ahead and create a mem from here. But what's cool is, for example, if I'm on a platform or a or website, I can actually save the mem into here. But what's really nice if I've went to new email template, I can paste that as a, and create a mem from there if I wanted to. But let's say I'm inside of an email and I want to paste that, so if I press enter. You can see there that I've automatically pasted my template. And you could, for example, add links, images, anything like that, and it would allow you to bring it in in Markdown, which is pretty cool. So actually a very subtle feature that could be quite useful, and you could create a range of templates if you wanted to, uh, including um, shared ones if you want. So you can, for example, create some gorgeous and then actually um, have it preset up. So you could, for example, have a meeting agenda one, you could have a task list one for the day. You can have whatever you want. It's sort of like database templates in Notion, but it will appear in the timeline. So anything you create appears in the timeline in line. Now, what I really like is the speed of the search. So for example, if I wanted to find the picnic really fast, I can go and find it. Uh, and if I wanted to look at Otto's vaccines, I could find it. So the speed of this application is, is pretty decent. And what's nice is it continues to see, um, you know, when you viewed stuff. Now, there's something really cool here called Home Mem, where you can actually save um, some important hashtags or something like that. So, for example, if you wanted to find all of your meetings, um, and I hashtag it with meetings, and if I go to the hashtag meetings, I can see here and expand it. I can see anything related in the timeline to meetings or in a list view. Uh, and I could quickly add certain things to inbox if I wanted to work on them during the day. So for example, if I was like, okay, I've got this meeting agenda, I can snooze it for uh, next Monday and uh, that disappears till then. So as you can see in the top right hand corner, I have 18 mems to my name. I can view mems in snoozed, I can view mems in trash and I can change the theme of it, for example, to amaranth or frost and I can use uh, focus mode uh, and remove that off if I want to. Now up here you can invite people, apparently I have five invites, so you can skip the wait list automatically. I will pick five of you in the comments at random, so good luck guys. Up here what's really nice as well is I can star a page. So for example, if I wanted to start a page called meetings, um, and I wanted to open it in a list view, I can star that page and just say uh, meetings upcoming, and save that. And then you can see that in the starred ones come here uh, and I can see uh, all of the mems that are connected to that. So very cool, small features here. I love the copy page link as well. So for example, if you wanted to send somebody a mem, you can uh, continue to do that. This is really just the first look. Um, what I wanted to do with you guys is actually spend five to seven days with this and come back and do a full seven day review of it in terms of using it as a day to day sort of note taker. Let's see how that goes. I wanted to give you my opinion on it, of course, uh, in, in a bit more detail. This is really just a first sort of fumble with it, uh, just to sort of um, give you my opinions on the application. Early days, I think it's a pretty neat approach to bi-directional note taking. I find that sometimes the concepts that we have available in note taking about note linking are quite uh, intense and quite um, laborious in terms of learning it. So I feel like this could be a good sort of medium approach to an application that uh, gets people started um, and uh, into the concept. So guys, uh, I've got five invites. I'll probably share the winners of those invites next time. Um, if you want to check out some of my Skillshare classes, you can do. I'm excited to continue um, exploring MEM um, and uh, diving into it. So guys, a big thank you. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheerio.